Hi Broncos, this is Ms. Aston. I wanted to take a few minutes today to show you some of the databases we have available for research. A database is just a collection. A collection of newspaper articles, magazine articles, images, videos, those sorts of things. A database is something that we pay for, so you'll have to log in using a password. And a database is nice because all of the results are guaranteed to be reliable meaning that I can trust all of these different news sources and magazine sources to be authoritative. To get to our databases, I'm on our school website. I'm going to go through Students, Library and Information Services. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to click on Library, Catalog, and Databases. This is the same place I click to get to Destiny. But instead of going to Destiny, I'm going to go to Gale Databases. This is our entry screen for Gale databases. We have six middle school Gale databases. Your teacher will probably direct you to the specific database he or she wants you to use. Most times, you'll probably be using this database right here, Student Resources and Context. And if you hover over this button, you can read the box that pops up, which is just describing what this database is all about. To enter this database, I'm simply going to click, and here's where I enter that password. You'll have to do this with, when you're at home or when you're at school. The password is Lone Star, L-O-N-E-S-T-A-R, all lowercase, no space, Lone Star. This is the home page for student resources and context. You can see that I can browse topics, I can look at some maps, I can scroll down and see some highlighted different topics. But what you'll probably want to do is use the search bar near the top right corner. I'm going to search for wind power. That's my subject I'm searching for. Wind power. And what I get are different reference articles images, some creative works like poetry or songs, some news, some magazines, some academic journals. There is a plot summary for a book, a poem, and some videos. Well, what I'm specifically looking for is a magazine article about wind power. So instead of looking at all these different results, I'm going to go on to the left side here, and I'm going to narrow down to just magazines. I can use these other limiters on the left to narrow down my results even more if I wanted to. If I was just wanting a magazine article that mentions wind turbines, I could click here. Or if I wanted a magazine article that talks about wind power and energy consumption, I could click here. Well, once I have found an article that looks good to me, let's say I think this one might look pretty good. I can click on the title of the article, and I can see that I can listen to the article. I can read the article. And then if I scroll all the way to the bottom of the article, I'll see a source citation. That's another really nice feature of a database. I have a source citation at the end. So I don't have to use easybib.com or any other citation maker to make a citation. It's right there. So I simply have to copy and paste this into my bibliography. So this was just a quick overview about how to use our Gale databases, specifically student resources in context. I hope that you do explore these different Gale re resources and find something that will help you for your research. If you have any questions or need any help, please come visit me in the library. Thanks a lot.